Hey folks, 13 here. Action Soup Studios would like to welcome you to our ninth episode of our Windborn series. I'm going to warn you, I just came in from work and I am wrecked tired. This is one of our better episodes in ways. You get to see the Sanctum almost complete. We have some pri surprises in the desert and you have a lot of me very tired and just kind of rambling about things. And perhaps that's great. Stay tuned to the end of the episode, the end of my uh, ramblings get kind of awesome when I touch on why we love Windborn. Always and forever, comment, like, subscribe, participate, remember to share, and enjoy. Hey folks, so here we are. This is what I got done off camera. And in general, in many ways, this is the sanctum done. I mean, the, the ballroom still needs to be finished and stuff. How do I feel about it? I like it. I really feel that it should be half again as wide to have matched the vision that I originally had. The rooms would be a little bit bigger. The distance between them would be a little bit bigger and I would have handled the walkways differently. Now that is not to say that I'm unhappy with the Sanctum. I am happy with the Sanctum. The Sanctum just kind of came out to be a different reality than my original envisionings. And that's not a bad thing. That's that's true of a lot of my art. I'm not an artist that uh, adheres to the plan all the time. I like to let my work kind of grow and personalize as it grows. However, there's some things I'd like to ask about. And those things are floating right here. I have another possible suggestion for railing that I might want to try out here. Let's run. I don't know why I'm going so slow. You guys have seen all these parts. I can walk slow through new parts. That looked odd to me for some reason coming through here. No? No, no, that one's upside down. That one is upside down. Alright, so... Yeah, that's OCD for you, baby. Oh, I didn't, uh, I have to adjust something. Let All right, folks, I'm back. I had my uh, Tartarus controller set up wrong. That's why that wasn't rotating. Anyhow, that's OCD for you. So here we go. Let's uh, cruise this direction. And now we're into this level finished, and it is dark. I have not put torches up yet. Did I have torches on that level below? Here I am catching a minute detail. I thought I did. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that's another part of uh, OCD. You, you know, but you're not sure, so you have to go look, even though you're pretty sure happens all the time okay so now I have all the parts that I want in my stuff so let's put a torch here and a torch here lighten this level up a bit alright so this is how the uh, onyx level came out and I still haven't lit my rooms I know I I'm holding out on lighting the rooms for uh, eight reasons Oh boy. Okay, I just realized I need to check something. I'll be right back again. Okay, now everything is set up. It is a uh, come straight home from work and shoot day. And I usually spend some unwinding time. Kind of, I need to close that. Need to close that wall. What do I got to close the wall with? Let's see. Let's see. I should at least have dirt. No? Sandstone? Okay, well. Alrighty then. Let's take a sojourn into the wall to get material so that we can close the wall. Oh. Ah. 
still getting used to the new mouse and controller setup. I know that in time, they will be awesome. And I also know that I'm not completely adapted to them yet. Let me think. Control, uh, it's that. So the challenge that comes about most briskly with the Tartarus controller is that some of the things that would normally be done on the keyboard are moved to the controller. And that's cool, except that you... The process is like this in my brain right now. What's that control? Oh yeah, that control is inventory. I want inventory. What is What controls inventory? I. Where did I map I? Oh, I mapped I right here. Now I am mapping the controller the same for uh, specific types of games. So I'll be able to just go, um, you know, okay, I'm playing a crafting game. So that's always my ring finger extended one key up but my brain doesn't quite have that yet I'm still thinking uh, in, in the other fashion now this is this is my other consideration uh, let's see right there we'll put one of those right there and I don't know how this lays I just kinda thought about it at work today I don't know if this is going to end up laying funny. Does that lay funny? Does it look feasible? It looks feasible. Let's see what a stairway of these looks like. Come, okay. Up there, there we go. Uh, rotate you. Alright. And again. And again. And again. Oh, is that one too low? That looks too low. It's not. Okay. All right. Now let's lay some glass in these. Whoa, hold on. Don't be crazy. Now that it's coming together, I'm less happy than I thought I was going to be with it. Okay, in the comments, let me know. Let me know what you think about it. Do I need to lay another layer of glass there for this to look all right? What, what would make that look right? Is it ever going to look right? Should I just keep going with the banners? I like the banners. I've overcome the concept that they're floating there. So, you know, whatever. Whatever you guys think. Hey, I didn't actually clear out the groove. I never cleared out the groove. Oh, man. All right, so that needs to be finished. I'm going to replace all of the dirt and marble that you can see here with this green, with the forest green, so it's consistent from here up and back all the way around. And then in here, we're going to lay in a four out, four over uh Actually, uh, actually, maybe not by fours. Um, geez, what, where do I want to path that? We'll go four back, and then we might just go as many as necessary to the left to reach the, the ridge side. I do want to kind of hide the, the path back into there. And that's it. Um, I have a structure I'm going to build to enclose it. It's going to be done all in glass blocks. I experimented with these glass and what I would love is I would love to have a corner piece to this. But there's no shape changes. There's no co corner pieces. You cannot make a cornered window, basically, which is something I wanted to do. But we'll just have to do it in glass blocks. That means it's going to be very expensive in sand to build that structure. All right. I don't know if it's no fall damage because I have the dragon ring. So uh, if you play this title, let me know what the fall damage is like without the ring if you don't have it. So let's see. That's what the glass walk or glass uh, ridging or uh, the railing. Glass railing looks like. 
and that's what the banner railing looks like you're very familiar with it I like the hallway each hallway having a different kind of ceiling I like the effect that that adds if I would have planned that in the beginning I may have made it have some logical progression and I may have ruined its natural beauty so that's part of the Oh, side of my nose, it's just terribly, oh my goodness. So that's part of what, I was. I ignored that actually for 45 seconds, grueling painful seconds, until I realized, would the folks want me to be in pain? No, they would not. So anyhow, I, that's what the natural progression of art for me is, that concept of the hidden beauty that comes out, that goes beyond or in between the cracks of the planning. So let's complete the... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's get our inventory arranged so that that kind of drops down into here. Okay, let's complete this. What did we get? We got Runestone Fence. That might be the most awesome fence ever. i not really using a lot of Runestone, if any, in this particular structure in the Sanctum. However... There might be some use for that fencing in our treehouse, which reminds me the comment contest. I, uh, for the last episode, eighth episode, I want to say, you might have to look through the episodes to find out. There's a comment contest for an awesome game key. So, uh, that's a Steam game, I believe, unless it's Astrea. We have so many contests going right now. Astrea is not a, uh, Steam game yet, it will be. I have great confidence of this. And uh, we have an Orion Dino Horde key out, that is a Steam game. And we have a. Um, what's the other key that I have out there? I have another key out there. Go look through all the videos and find out what it is. But keep your eyes out for our comment contests. Let's see here. So let's accept this. It's return to the forest, build a second tree house in the forest with 70 or more rune blocks. Really? All right. So I know very well that I do not have the resources for that. Absolutely, I don't. Um... I didn't prepare for that. I, I didn't turn in my episode. And that's a sad thing. So. I, I don't have a good episode for you folks. I, I don't have. I'm unprepared. That was such a massive and grueling effort. Especially. Let's go back and look at the real cause. Of my unpreparedness. I wanted to do something special on that last level, and I uh, I glanced right o over it because I was in such a hurry to get to the top of the building and show off the work that we had done. Let's cruise out here. Now, there was something that I wanted to do with the ziggurat, and we might just go do that. We might go do the secret thing with the ziggurat that I was going to do. Or ziggurat, ziggurat, ziggurat? How did I spell that? I spelt it different than Michelle did. I'm sorry, Michelle. I realized later I drifted from your original spelling. So, okay, this is it. This is what took so much time. These are gold blocks. They're not gold ore. They're not gold ingots they are gold blocks it takes a lot of ore to get this type of thing to happen let me tell you so that's why that's why I can't just go oh sure I can build 70 rune blocks no problem I have all those resources I really don't I have lots of sandstone stuff built up and I have a reasonable amount of some things, but there's other stuff that I am not going to have enough of. I got a good start. I got 34 uh, runestone. Oh, going to sneeze. <laughs> ah, still fighting this cold. I have 34 runestone wall pieces built up, and that's cool. But it only gives me a good start on the episode. It really 
does not make a treehouse. I also would like to design the treehouse instead of just going completely crazy. Um, I have enough... I have enough torches for what I want to do with the ziggurat. Awesome! So, what you're going to see... I wonder what it takes to build those railings that we unlocked. I wonder if uh, setting some railings out there would count. That Oh, there's the crafting button. I would definitely have to return to the sanctum to craft them, I'm sure. Yep. Oh, it's just granite bricks and wood planks. All right, it's it's tempting to go put something together. See what we can do to experiment. I am really dragging booty this episode. I'm sorry, folks. My brain is not with me having just come off of work. My job is a really cerebral job. I, I always leave it with my brain just run down, and you're seeing that. Do I want all of, all of these to be? Yes. Okay, so I, I wasn't sure what side I wanted to put these on. But I want to put them on the side that's always to the outside of the ziggurat. So, this would be the outside side. This is obviously the outside side. Uh, let's see, we're going to call this the outside side. And this, in the case of that one. Sweet. I think that this is a plan that's going to come together nicely. Oh, your light is extinguished. Your light is extinguished. That's so sad. Okay, so that pillar that fell down, there's no way to give it a torch. You can't turn torches sideways. Uh, developer, I really, really would love the ability to turn items around more axes. My suggestion would be a shift rotate. So if you're holding shift down and you rotate, instead of the piece rotating the way that it would normally most helpfully rotate, because you kind of have helpful rotations in there, I would like it to rotate on maybe all, maybe Shift gives an expanded rotation set, and it rotates all the directions. So first it rotates around the Z axes four times, then the X axes four times, then the Y axes four times. Is that all of them? Are they all lit up? Did I just put that last one on the wrong side? No. All right, so they're all done. Let's see. I am just walking everywhere in the world. I am... So tired myself in reality that I can't run in the game. I like it. I really do. It adds more of an aspect of what the... Uh, or more of a dimension of what the heck are those things, you know? And as you walk around them, they have nice lighting effects that take place. Alright, awesome. I am most happy with that. Most happy indeed. I have ideas for what I want to do here. Um, I thought about doing something enigmatic. Like, uh, oh no, the enigma was just cleared. I know exactly what it's for. So what I would do is I would make this look like an archaeological dig is taking place. Where I've been taking out my sand. And I'm going to take more out, and I'm going to take it out to make it look... I'll look up some archaeological digs, and I'll get an idea of how I could reasonably replicate one in Windborn, and I'll do that. That's what this era, era, area... Area? It's what this area will be. It'll be the reason I got my... Uh, my excavation happening there. It'll add more mystique to the ziggurat, so... Why is the ziggurat in such good shape if everything else is... Uh, maybe I'll make that an excavation and hint that that's a pyramid that's uh, covered in hillside. Maybe I'll have a little bit of the pyramid spilling out of the... Yeah! All right, so we got the ziggurat sitting there. And a visitor will wonder, 
Is it still in pristine shape or has it been pulled out of the mountain like this one? And this one will will have part of one coming out here, like it like there's another ziggurat being uncovered here, and I'll have some fallen uh some fallen columns. Maybe I'll clear out and set one column. Okay. Oh, there's stuff to do. There's so much fun stuff to do in the desert. I don't want to craft anything till I finish the quests because I don't want to uh, discover that I have to mine a thousand blocks. I don't have to mine a thousand blocks, do I? I don't want to discover that I have to do that and that it has to happen from the moment I'm given the quest, right? Oh, I always need to pet the woolies. There's so much uh, cloth that I've kind of I haven't wasted the cloth on the banners. I can just, hopefully I can give the same item over and over to the uh, gins and they'll be happy. And they will want lots of banners. Maybe that'll work. If you guys make the decision that I should be doing the glass railings. And I'll go back over and look at the building one more time. This is why I don't like the glass railways. Railways? <laughs> <laughs> railings oh my handrails I'm so tired uh, the glass handrails this is why I don't like them thank goodness for the episode I'm, we're shooting later uh, and Redwood is running things so I can just stare like a zombie over there so anyhow this is why I don't like like the glass handrails I'm afraid that this thing looks a little bit like an office building and it's gonna look more like an office building with those handrails that are made of glass. If I if I may oh oh help me I may finish the sanctum and that would mean digging out the same amount half again as much over here and half again as much over here to expand the building out in those directions. I can think of things I'd do on the lower floors too if I expanded it out. So if I expand the sanctum out um, I'm gonna move my window setup I'm gonna move my everything everything all the stairs go to a new location everything changes about the building and uh, I don't know maybe I don't want to do that maybe the sanctum is the sanctum for a reason maybe I should just finish the sanctum and move on I will never do another building that I cut a groove in a mountainside or a uh, cliff face for though so that's one of the reasons I look at it and I think maybe I want to finish it the way I originally wanted it so I wanted it to be wider it turns out and I want more of an open space between the towers but will the towers ever feel like towers when they're nestled into the side of the cliff face these are questions we may never answer because geez we spent a lot of time on the sanctum and maybe there's other projects there's a whole village of tree. There is a treetop village that I need to build out of rune stone that direction. And out there, I didn't realize that you can see everything from here. It's kind of awesome. Out where the ziggurat is, there's a much bigger pyramid being uncovered, it turns out. We found out this episode. And we have to tell that story too. And you know what, folks? I'm going to take a last couple of minutes here looking out across the beauty to tell you why we play Windborne. We love games that we find the story as we go. And it turns out, when we first came to Action Soup Island here, we didn't know what the story was. And we dug out a cliff face, and we found a building in the cliff face. And then we trekked into the desert, and out of the sands rose a pyramid. And it turns out, that the sands and the desert are still hiding another one. And we, we discovered that there's a structure in the trees. And now it turns out that there's going to be an entire village. This is why we love Windborn. Because the stories that we've found here are the stories that we have found in our own artistic hearts. All right, folks. I think that's going to do... I think in our next episode, we owe you a lot of building, and we're going to do a lot of that building. We'll have some work done, and we'll have resources 
to do yet more. So what do you think, folks? We didn't have the resources, but we found stuff to do. I think the improvements to the Ziggurat are awesome. Remember to keep your eyes out for our comment contests. Let me know what you think, glass handrails or banner handrails. And as always, comment, like, subscribe, participate, and always remember to share. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Boop. Uh, we love it. Why? Boop. Hey, folks. Thanks for joining us for this, our ninth. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Boop. I am so tired. Oh, my gosh. I am so wrecked tired. I don't believe I'm shooting an intro and an outro segment, and I don't believe I made it through the episode at all. Jeez. All right.